A lot of people who grew up in small towns can't wait to leave for the big city. This week on Great American Brew Trail, we traveled to two breweries who chose to stay in their tiny hometowns, Greenbush and Sawyer and Dark Horse in Marshall. They share a similar story, the same passion for craft beer, and the same incredible growth rate. If you haven't heard of these guys, you will. So grab a distorter or a crooked treat and join me on this episode of the Great American Brew Trail. My name is Amy Sherman. I'm a chef. I'm a mom. And I'm a beer drinker. Shocking, I know. That's right, I'm a girl who really likes beer. Out of the way, boys. What are we drinking? I mean, why wouldn't I drink beer? As a chef, I love the variety of local ingredients, and I appreciate what it takes to create a great beer. In fact, I've been a home brewer for years. All across the United States, microbreweries are popping up with plenty of atmosphere, plenty of local foods, and of course, plenty of beer. We'll see the ins and outs and the ups and downs behind the taps at some of the country's best microbreweries. So join me on the Great American Brew Trail as I taste my way across the USA, one pint at a time. Dark Horse Brewing Company has become one of the biggest breweries in Michigan, but that hasn't changed the owner's vision. Aaron Morse's hand-built pub is as unique as he is. For over 16 years, Aaron has been brewing the beer that he likes, and you know what? Everybody else seems to like it too. Aaron and his wife, Christine, run an incredibly unique place that is perfectly them. And both of them were born and raised right here in Marshall, Michigan. Was in college, I was like, no way, you know, I'm out of here, I'm going out west or wherever, but Marshall's a nice town. I did not think I was going to come back. You know, that's the reason I went to school in Marquette, because I wanted to get as far as away from Marshall as I could without going out of state. It's a great town to grow to grow up in, to raise children in. You know, I wasn't really happy to be here. I mean, my family lives here too, so I'm glad and happy to see them all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's quirky, and you know, there's clicks and whatnot, but I think you get that with any town. I love the community. I love the support. Um, you know, everyone cares so much about everyone, and um, you know, they really believe in us. It's a nice town. You know, it's a historic town. Um, there's a lot um, of history here. For almost 100 years, the number one tourist destination in Marshall has been Schuler's Restaurant, and they have great food and even better bar cheese. But last year, the city did a survey, and the number one tourist destination now is Dark Horse Brewery. Dark Horse actually started uh, what we, 14 years ago, 1997, as a brew pub. Um, went horribly wrong. Lots of money was lost, and uh, we closed it. Um, I decided to take the brewing equipment and open just a brewery, uh, which started in September of 2000. Um, and I started uh, that year, brewed 400 barrels um, as a little tap room brewery, um, and slowly adding scents to build what we have now. Not only can you grab a beer at Dark Horse, you can also buy a motorcycle, pick up a skateboard, get some sweet clothes, or get a tattoo if you feel inspired. This place is some kind of compound. I mean, it's one of those, uh, you know, being family-owned brewery and business, and, you know, I don't know if you've been around the compound, but, you know, it's, uh, it's just a free-spirited type of fun-loving group that we got, and uh, that being said, I, I guess that's why they let me be in charge of it. In college, uh, me and a buddy, I mean, obviously I was into beer, period, um, but when you're in college, you have X amount of money. Uh, you got to eat, you got to play. Uh, well, we played too much, so we had a great idea that we could make our own beer and save money. Well, we ended up spending more money making beer than we did just buying it, but uh, we had a lot of fun in the process. I think Michigan is just an outstanding craft beer state. Um, we have so many wonderful breweries, and you know, I'm not going to mention them all because they're all so wonderful. And you know, I always come down and say it's, it must be the water. You know, Michigan's a water wonderland. But, you know, I do think we're coming to the forefront and people are really starting to recognize us as a great beer state. We make big beers that we want to drink and, and if you don't like it, then you don't like it, but we're going to make what we want. And so, And I think uh, people are starting to come around to, like, their taste buds are similar to ours now, I guess. Starting to come around? Don't be so modest, Wigs. Dark Horse is the fifth biggest brewery in Michigan. 
set to brew 15,000 barrels of beer this year. That's right, 15,000 barrels of beer. At first we were just going to service the, the Great Lake states, anything that touched the Great Lake. Okay. Um, that was kind of the vision then. Um, we've surpassed that now. Um, I had an idea I was going to grow to 8,000 barrels and stop. Well, it's not that easy. When you get to 8,000 barrels, it's like, okay, we're here now, and we can't just stop. So um, we're shooting for 15,000 barrels this year. Um, and I guess my goal before I retire is 30 to 50,000 barrels. Oh, my goodness. Um, That's not a microbrewery anymore. Yeah, it's getting up there. <laughs> it was very hard work. We went through some rough times, and, you know, he believed that he he made good beer, people would come. And little by little, people kept coming and coming, and it turned out to be a great, great little business. and. He absolutely loves it. And it's not so little it. anymore. No, <laughs> it's not little anymore, but we still like to think it is little. I started, like, I've been doing it almost 10 years, and um, there was 25 breweries, something like that, when I started in, in early 2000s, and now over 100, and you, you can go 20 miles everywhere from, you know, throw, throw a rock, and there's another brewery, throw a rock, there's another brewery, and everybody's making great beer, so... Um, I think just is the, everyone making great beer? Of course, in Michigan. <laughs> come on, in Michigan, oh, they're all my boys. I got it. <laughs> Are you at all surprised at the success you've had here, or did you believe in it the whole time? I believed in him, and I believed in the business, and I believed in the beer. I knew Aaron was really creative with beer, and you know has a great palate, and just loves it so much. I mean, he's always loved beer, and I can remember. We would always drink, you know, in high school or in college, we drink your Budweiser and we got introduced to Honey Brown and we're like, wow, this is different. Honey Brown still isn't wonderful, but you know, this is different. And then we <laughs> delved into, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then we started delving into Bells and then, you know, experimenting with different beers and it's like, wow, there's so much more to beer than we ever knew. And so that love just kept growing and I'm just super proud of them. And pretty much anything that Aaron does, he pretty much makes it a success. Don't go away. Great American Brew Trail will be right back. What's not to love at Williams Kitchen and Bath? Do you always find yourself looking for more cabinet space? Does it feel like you need more room for all the chefs in your house? If so, it's time to visit Williams Kitchen and Bath. Williams offers the best selection from top cabinet makers. Stop in today and experience the Williams difference. What's not to love at Williams Kitchen and Bath? Contain your excitement. We're back at Dark Horse Brewery. We're in the Dark Horse Kitchen with Max, and you are making some of your signature items here, which are pizzas and calzones. Everything they make in this kitchen comes out of a pizza oven, which is insane. I love it. And we're going to make this calzone. This is a... This is uh, the ingredients for one of our most popular pizzas, the Greek chicken pizza. But we're going to twist gonna it. We're going to twist it and make it into a calzone. Because everything's different here at Dark right. Horse. I like Absolutely. it. Okay, so you're starting off with some... Um, this is our garlic and herb olive oil that we put together. Okay. A we're squirt. Put that down as a sauce. I love it. And then we have some fresh vegetables and chicken. We do. Spread this out there. Now, do you normally put it all on one side? Do you put it all over um, we'll it? We'll just put it all in the middle there, and then we'll end up folding it over. Okay, so a little bit of spinach. Yeah. And then what else? Um, we can toss the chicken on there. And a little bit of banana pepper. Yeah. Me likey. Black olives. Black olives. Tomato. We've got tomato here. Now it's looking good and colorful. And then fresh mozzarella, or no, this is regular mozzarella, right? Yep. And then what's that one? Um, we've got feta cheese you here. Can't, it can't be Greek can't without be Greek feta, without right? Feta. <laughs> as soon as you had <laughs> feta, it's Greek. That's true. Opa! <laughs> Perfect. Right. Now you fold it over. Yeah, this is the tough part. This is where the magic happens, people. And a little bit of a pinch yeah. to seal it Make all sure in. Make get all the air out of there. Oh, it looks great. And then you're going to blast this in the oven, right? All right, here comes my Greek calzone. Holy cow, it's enormous. There we go. We okay, go. what do you do to it now? Um, now we top it with our signature topping, our garlic butter here. Because what's better than butter and garlic, right? right? Yeah. It doesn't get any better. So we're going to smother it in there. Nummy. Rock and roller. There you go. Okay, that looks great. And then up onto the plate? Yeah. Thanks to Max, I get to try this delicious calzone. 
Mmm. How is it? It's great. All right. That garlic butter is top. Yep, that's what it's all about. Really good. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. While the food is great at Dark Horse, it's really all about the beer. And their Crooked Tree IPA is one of my favorites. I'm drinking the uh, IPA, the Crooked Tree IPA. It's uh, my favorite all around. It's kind of their flagship beer. I'm drinking the, uh, the Sapient, and I had the, the Rod, too. And it just reminds me of like uh, Sam Adams. It's what I like to drink, so it's kind of the same similarities. Are you a craft beer drinker? I am not, usually, but I found today's uh, drink delightful, and I would choose it again. What do you like about Dark Horse beer? I love uh, right when you walk in, the whole place looks so different than everything else. All the mugs hanging from the ceiling. Like, everybody's got their own, like, personal mug. I love that. Well, see, you're a mug club member. What number are you? 898. See, so you're an oldie, but a goodie. Yeah, I've, um, I think my membership is probably five to seven years old. I, I don't even remember. I mean, time goes by so quickly. Um, What's changed here at the pub in, in that time? There's more mugs. <laughs> a lot more mugs. This is my first time here. This is your first time yes. here. What do you think of it? Uh, it was awesome. The food was amazing. I had the safety and trip ale, and that was really good. I come here probably like at least once a week. I love the IPA, and I love the raspberry. They're great. Dark Horse's raspberry ale is brewed with actual raspberries. No junky extracts here. The people are so friendly and, and so welcoming that you, you love to come in here no matter what. So, And the food is great. So, And the beer. Tell me about the beer. Uh, I love the beer. I mean, well, the real reason I'm here is because of the beer, obviously. I, mean, my, I love microbrews. A funky roadhouse that's disguised as the fifth biggest brewery in the state of Michigan. Dark Horse is a not-to-be-missed stop on any craft beer crawl. And Greenbush is the young upstart with no-joke beers. But you don't need a psychologist. These beers will cure what ails you. So join me next time on the Great American Brew Trail as I taste my way across the USA one pint at a time. Oh, wait a second. I'm losing my mic. Sound guy, tape. I need some tape. I'm teasing. It's fine. You got any more questions? No, that's it. You did great. <laughs> no, that's good. It, but, come here. Put this camera on. You do have some kind of interesting names. Were you yeah. going through a bad period of time? Uh, that's this place. That's so. this place. Dark Horse. Dark Horse. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> wow, that was a chip shot right in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. So whether you're downtown Detroit enjoying a dirty blonde under the tank set at Water Brewing Company, or you're up in Warren, Michigan at Dragon Mead trying to decide between over 50 different beers on tap, a trip to Detroit for craft beer is sure to be a great time. So join me next time on the Great American Brew Trail as I taste my way across the USA one pint at a time. <laughs> An apprentice to a metal model, metal model maker. It's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Passed your first test. Yeah. Okay. Can you bluff, the, bluff his beer? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, he comes in very early in the morning. So he's like, don't come in yet. It's, like, it's dark and quiet, and it's just, you know, it's quiet, you know, it's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. hey, you have to go all over again. <laughs>